The Road Ahead, sponsored by RTC. Hi, I'm Annie Woods for The Road Ahead with RTC. The Southeast Connector is now open, and the RTC has received some questions from the community about this new roadway. Here to answer some of those questions is Engineering Manager Doug Malloy. Thanks so much for being with us, Doug. Thank you. Let's talk about the speed limit on the parkway. 45 miles an hour here on the Southeast Connector, why is that? Well, this posted speed limit is 45 miles per hour to keep everyone safe. It's not a freeway, it's a parkway, and it goes through existing and potentially future developed communities. Um, the, the design is based on local, state, and federal requirements, um, and it's also designed to handle traffic projected out to the year 2035 and beyond, at which time it'll be more congested. And what about the traffic on this, um, Sparks Boulevard? Is there any projected plans to help alleviate some of that traffic congestion? Yes, that's a good question too. Obviously there's a lot of traffic on Sparks Boulevard. Um, we'll be working with the City of Sparks after the traffic normalizes. We'll take a look at the traffic signal timing and as needed, make some adjustments. In addition, we're looking to widen Sparks Boulevard to six lanes in the future. Um, it's in our 2035 Regional Transportation Plan. Construction likely on that would be in the year 2022 to 2026 timeframe. Is there any more fencing planned? Now we've got eight foot wildlife fence on the north end, that's primarily for deer. Uh, barbed wire fence on the south end of the project, we're adding to the, some of that, we're, we're repairing some of that. I want to remind your viewers that don't feed the feral horses. It brings them into the area adjacent to the Veterans Parkway. Well, thanks for all that great information, Doug. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit rtcwashoe.com. This is your RTC. The Road Ahead, sponsored by RTC.